Ed had his throw range extended, and Stand Short has less pushback. Ed now has a take throw with no walking. And it's off of his 3-frame normal, no less. These changes are good for Ed's defense and offense alike. Previously, there was no EX version of Psycho Knuckle. This patch devs have added one that you can only do by hitting two punches during his flicker. It's 100 damage before scaling, which is great returns for one bar. You can rock and frame it fairly easily from any flicker. It's unsafe on block. But on hit, it adds a nice chunk of damage from a very non-committal special Ed can throw out basically whenever. This is a nice buff. There seems to be no combo mid-screen. In the corner you can get a few combos with it. As for juggles into it, they work fine. It's now part of Ed's optimal 2 bar. For VT2 activation, it's plus 11 on block. But snatcher cancels are interruptible. VS1 uncharged is 1 frame faster and pushes opponents away more on block, making it somewhat less risky on both counts. It's minus 2, but Ed is far enough away that he can potentially shimmy the opponent's reversal throw. The range it leaves at is very nice. He's outside Ryu's natural throw range even before moving. Yet he's inside his own throw range. The charge version pulls opponents closer to Ed, guaranteeing a mix-up even at max range. The patch notes blurb observes that holding VS1 made it come out slower, even if only by a few frames, and players often did that on accident. It seems the game now checks later frames for players inputting VS1 charging, so Ed can more easily get a no-charge version in Juggles or as an anti-air. VT2 Anti-Air Snatcher has a bigger hitbox for hitting distant jumps. It was already good for close jumps. Though I suspect the expanded hitbox is just to allow his new combos to work. Psycho Flicker, Psycho Upper, and Standing VS2 now work more reliably in the corner. I don't think there's anything really significant here besides EX Psycho Knuckle, which should help Ed get damage out of neutral much more easily. Strange to think of Release Ed, who was designed to be an easy character to play, yet was ironically somewhat difficult due to his command overlap and stiff attacking options. Now with his fast dash, better buttons, and generally more simple gameplay style, I think he actually is a pretty straightforward and easy character to play, and he's pretty fun too.